Hello everyone and welcome back to Beamer Light. We are back you guys with another video, encouragement, and just a word from the Lord. We want to bless y'all today with this. Amen. So in this spiritual walk, you'll go through the ebbs and flows and the Lord will highlight certain things that we need to ultimately take responsibility for. And he also highlights things we need to uproot and pluck out of our own life. Yeah. And when these things happen, that gives us a chance to heal. It gives him room to come in us and heal those broken parts of us. Why am I saying this? Well, you notice in the church world, they're so unhealthy. You know, the people over spiritualize health, you know, saying, well, I don't want to go after this goal because mm -hmm. it's going to turn into vanity. And that very well may be so. However, when you focus on health and the true intention behind it, which is caring for your body, caring for the vessel that God has given you, because we only have one body, we mm -hmm. have one spirit and one when temple. the one temple mm -hmm. and it's our own gift that he's given us, which is our body to take care of it, you know, honor him with every single bite, honor him with the food choices you make. Mm -hmm. And this is what this topic is about. It's, it's basically taking care of the temples that he's given you and yeah. really just nourishing your bodies with the with the whole foods with the proper just fuel that we all need so yeah yeah so you're probably thinking to yourself okay which health are we talking about are we talking mm -hmm. about a spiritual health or are we talking about a physical health and we're talking about both because everything all that we do is led through the holy spirit mm -hmm. first and foremost like we are led by god's spirit yeah. right he tells us to walk in his spirit and to walk in truth and in his spirit mm -hmm. And when we're talking about a spiritual health, I believe like having a relationship with Jesus is you having a strong foundation for everything else to nourish and flourish in your life. Mm. And I truly believe that, you know, in the aspects of our physical health, God calls us to be healed. And we are two people that understand, you know, health and being unhealthy very much so. Like, I mean, I we're not the perfect healthiest people because we can go to the doctors and there'll be something you know what I mean yeah and so I mean at least for me and so for sure. um when we talk about physical health we're talking about the temple like Andrew said of the yeah. Holy Spirit he's given us a temple this mm -hmm. body that we live in it and we need to steward the way we eat and so yeah. um we've been on our own journey with health yeah. I mean I'm talking about unhealthy eating binge eating sugar cravings all the things we're no different than the next person i think we all struggle with something and most of us struggle with the same things and mm -hmm. i truly believe food is a way that also the enemy holds us down and you're probably thinking how can how can the enemy like hold me down with food mm -hmm. well if we're eating whatever we want and not caring for our bodies then yeah i truly believe that that's a distraction mm -hmm. in your health and that's where health complications come. That's where diagnosis come. That's where a lot of, you know, your body starts mm -hmm. to suffer from us not taking or caring for our bodies. I just heard in my spirit, comfort and security. Mm -hmm. You know what I feel like it boils down to? Mm -hmm. Feeling comforted in those moments by the substances people take in. Yeah. It could be drugs, alcohol, anything that will give you pleasure in the moment for security and the feeling of, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. But that's in that those moments, guys, is where the Lord wants your situation and your attention to not be on those other things that can yeah. very well maybe an idol. Yeah. He wants you to make him the only idol that you have in your life that you're worshiping. Yeah. So in those moments of desperation of Lord, like I, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. You know, I just want to go to that certain thing to feel better. Mm-hmm. But he is our emotional security. He is yeah. the security that we need ultimately because it's deeper than just eating. It's deeper yeah. than just smoking. It's deeper than just it's drinking. It's all spiritual. It's all spiritual. Yeah. And it's all for a dopamine hit to make yourself feel better. Yeah. But I've discovered that if you have a want to overeat for some reason, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still working on this myself. I'm not perfect like yeah. you both said. Like there's, yeah. this life is about learning and mm -hmm. overcoming and yeah. looking the mountain in the face saying i will move this mountain by faith yeah but Amen. why am i saying this i've noticed when i read the bible those thoughts of wanting to do that do those things go away and that says a lot because yeah. he truly is every and the only thing yeah. we need 
And that's where the Word of God tells us to renew our minds in Christ. We have to be renewing our minds daily, not just whenever we feel like it, not just whenever we think it's convenient, but every single day. We should be meditating on the Word. Scripture says meditate on the Word day and yeah. night. And it's important that we are renewing our minds constantly on the Word of God mm -hmm. because He, like I said, He is our foundation. Yeah. He's our rock. He is who we go to for everything. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. We go to Jesus because He's our Savior. He's yeah. our Maker. He's our Creator. And so I guess we'll like give a little detail as to what we transition into doing as as part of like our, a healthier lifestyle. I mean, we've tried. I've tried all the diets. I've tried plant-based, vegan, and I'm sorry to say this, and if anybody's watching this as a vegan, to me, I think veganism is in a cult, but do your own <laughs> research on that because God gave us every living creature to eat. There's certain things we're not supposed to eat if you go back to the Old Testament, and I know that under the New Testament, we're under grace and mercy, but there's just certain things that you just don't do. Like, mm -hmm. you're not going to go and kill a squirrel and eat a... You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. gross, but living in... Baby. Yeah desperation you know. true i mean if somebody's at the point of starvation <laughs> but you might have to go check yourself to the er but all i'm saying is that i've been there yeah. i've tried all the fad diets i mean you've tried all the everything. diets everything and it when you when you think about it, when you break it down i think oftentimes we try to do things in our own ability mm. and we fail at it because we're doing maybe what somebody else did let me try yeah. that let me follow this trend let me do so let me maybe you're like i really want to get healthy mm. i really want to do something i haven't tried before let me do this and then you start to experiment you yeah. start to try things and so long story short andrew and i as well as some people that are close to us we decided to do a carnivore diet we actually felt led to do a carnivore diet and if you don't know what that is i'll let you explain in a very short you know words basically no processed junk yeah i'll just uh, let me just sum it up this way you're basically eating meat and anything that comes from an animal yes so meat eggs God's design yeah. exactly I, well i'm gonna say it is god's design for us mm -hmm. to eat whole foods and everything like that however I feel like for healing purposes, for the things that we have, we're dealing with, such as like binge eating and stuff like that, he, the Lord yeah. blesses us with a certain diet to overcome those things as well. Yeah. Not only can He heal us supernaturally, but obviously Not we have to fasting. Yeah, yeah. We have to do our part in order to like ingest the right proper food because mm -hmm. He does give us free will for every single thing. Yeah. So like, if He places something like a blueprint for us to overcome yeah. these certain things, then we have to do it. Yeah. So basically, it's red meat, chicken, anything that is basically no carb yeah you know there's bags, a bags exactly and poultry. there's a there's poultry and there's a dirty version of the carnivore which is involves honey however you can also bump your body out of ketosis which yeah. is actually healing properties mm -hmm. in order to overcome these sugar addictions and stuff like that yeah but yeah there's a little kind of a yeah little nugget so and you know we're gonna i'm gonna share a little bit of my experiment experience yeah. on this diet and why are we talking about this i truly feel as though we're living in a time where the food we eat, the processed foods that we eat, you know, we can't really trust the system we're under. And this is this is just the truth. Like we're researchers, like we do our research, like we read, we watch videos, we listen. And if you've been paying attention, like, I mean, I know for some people listening to this, this is gonna sit right in your spirit. It's like, if God's been calling us to, you know, pray and to seek him to fast a lot yeah. more so important there's a reason fasting is to get closer to jesus Amen. is to hear god is to get closer to our abba i also believe fasting gets us away from certain addictions yeah, for and sure. for me when we started this diet i had no idea the level of sugar addiction that i had and we tried to blanket it we tried to cut i don't eat that much sugar i don't eat donuts i don't you know but then when you take yourself out of the very thing, you know, it's almost like I was having that first week of mm. this diet, yeah. I had a relapse. I was withdrawing. It was just like, I want sugar. Yeah. And in that moment, you know, we learn to fast, but at the same time, it's like when you're, when you're denying your body, when you're denying your flesh, what it yeah. wants, what it craves, those worldly things. This is where I say it becomes, it's spiritual before it's natural. 
you are you are crucifying your flesh mm -hmm. you are denying your flesh of what it craves and desires yeah. and wants and you are doing the very thing god's calling you to do of course god god's going to be there and bless you and lead you to it and that's what i've learned it's the the little addiction that i had that i didn't think was so severe i was like wait a second this is a problem this yeah. is getting me this is not only breaking down my my temple and and yeah. hurting me but this is also keeping me from living a full and whole life, like mm -hmm. a wholesome life. Yeah. And if you watch one of my previous videos where I talk about my fertility journey, I talk about how I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and that was in the beginning of this year. And it's amazing to me because diseases don't happen overnight. It takes time for them to, to happen and to take place in your body. And so I truly believe that in this season, God wants his people to be healthier. He wants his people to be obedient. If God's saying, hey, you need to lay off of this. Some people are dealing with a, a glutton, gluttony spirit. Yeah, gluttony gluttony spirit and it's like we have to be obedient even with the very things because it can be an addiction at this point that somebody's going through talk to somebody not only pray about it but confess because that's where it starts amen so i have a question for you so we went to a birthday party yesterday and how long have we been on carnivore two weeks uh about two and a half weeks two and a half weeks so yeah when we we had a little cheat day yesterday it happens yeah but what i'm asking you is for the viewers based on how you feel for the first two weeks of carnivore and that bite of that donut, how did you feel afterwards and was it worth it? Okay, so when <laughs> it was a, it was a very uh, close uh, friend, like yeah. a birthday party and we were in. Keep in mind, I'm not putting her on the spot yeah. or, you know, judging I'm gonna her. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, just be, I'm honest, be honest. Just for the viewers to like understand if you yeah. stay on this journey of carnivore and just like removing the carbs. Or for fasting, whatever somebody's doing. Exactly. Yeah. Let's just see if it's worth it because you may actually feel better yeah. on the diet. So, yeah. So, again, like, we're not like, yes, we're strict carnivores, but we're also like giving ourselves grace because I also I work a, a job that to me is like there's sugar around me, but it's about God teaching me self control in this season as I'm on this mm -hmm. diet. So, yeah, we go That's to the good. party. It's a kid's birthday party. We go yesterday and I was offered all the things and I said, you know what? Let me take a bite of this donut. This was actually our like kind of like grace day or our cheat day, not necessarily to go back to sugar, but it was there. And so I, I took a bite. By the third, fourth bite in, it just didn't taste good to me. So those, those first three bites, I'm yeah. like, this is great. But is it worth it? Do I miss it? Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I don't. Because the, the not only the energy, but the way my body feels, the way my body feels nourished and satiated after eating a, a delicious, like, carnivore uh, meal, I feel the best I've mm. ever felt in my entire life. And I don't know, maybe somebody needs to hear this today. Maybe God's calling you to work on yeah. your health. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of diagnosis, disease. Maybe you're dealing with an autoimmune disorder. And it's not just about eating meat. It's about eliminate, eliminating the bad food mm -hmm. that our system, our government has been corrupting our food. Like they've been, yeah. this is just the honest truth. They've <coughs> been messing with our food. Yeah. They've been messing with our produce, trying to put, um, what's that called? There's so many things. Bioengineered Bio food. Like, like I don't want my food bioengineered. I want my, my berries. I want my fruit. I want my veggies to be clean. And you're also dealing with pesticides and chemicals. So this is the stuff that we research, the stuff that we know. And maybe to somebody listening, they're probably thinking this is a lot of information. But if somebody, if that's you and you're mm -hmm. listening, what is one piece of advice Oof, to give it. somebody to walk into? Now, we don't want to take away mm -hmm. from fasting. I think fasting is so important All right. to get closer to Christ, mm -hmm. but for your health as well. Okay. I'm reading this book. It's not a Christian author. However, it doesn't dispute the fact that this truth is actually general truth for every single person. Mm -hmm. It's called the slight edge. What is the slight edge? Basically, everything you do on a daily basis will create you or the things you don't do, you'll ultimately get worse over time. What do I mean by that? If you take small actions every single day, if you start reading the Bible every single day, mm -hmm. 15, 20, 30, however long you want and break it down into chunks every single day, then eventually you're going to be, you're going to get a deeper relationship with the Lord. If you, yeah. if you pray 
and dedicate time every single day to pray, that relationship's gonna get deeper. However, on the other side of things, if you eat healthy food over the course of time, you may not have a the best physique in this moment. It may not even be perfect. Exactly, but over doing. the course of time, those mm -hmm. small little actions will ultimately lead to that re end result of looking fit and being fit and feeling fit. Yeah. The opposite side of things is true. If you don't read the Bible, you're gonna get further away from Christ every single day. You may not see it now, but eventually, yeah. that relationship will be non-existent because he didn't leave, you left and you put your focus on other things. Mm -hmm. So that can go with food as well. If you eat fast food every single day, your body may not look terrible. You may not have extra wanted fat or unwanted fat, but eventually over time, you will become that person of yeah. unhealthy. So yeah. be very aware of the small actions that may not look big right now, but yeah. over time they will turn to you a better person for Christ because we want to be the healthiest ver ver possible version for Christ so we can use us mm -hmm. to the best of his ability. Yeah. So that's that's, what, that's the that's the advice I would give. That's good. Um it's it's so true because if you look at everything around us like you have to you have to walk against the the crowd. That's just how I look at it. Like when everybody's going one way and everybody's doing the same thing, are you going to be the person that does the opposite? The one that is standing up in God's truth. The one that is, you know, being bold in Jesus. The one that's speaking and sharing the gospel. The one that is, you know, it's not popular. Like you may be the only one in your friend group. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the people around you aren't the best example when it comes to, and not just your walk with Christ. Maybe like they're stumbling blocks. And that's another thing. It's a relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. So when it's God first, he centers you. And and I love this script, scripture that says that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Mm -hmm. Nothing. God will always catch you if you fall. He says, I believe it's in Psalm, he says, Though you may stumble, you will not fall. For the mm -hmm. Lord upholds you with his hand, with his righteous hand. Meaning God's hand is on your life. So if you stumble, you're not going to fall because God's got you. No, no one and nothing can get in the way of the love of Christ for you and mm. over your life. Amen. And I love that scripture. I love that promise because God literally does redeem us. Romans 8, 28, he says, and we know that God works in all things for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose in our lives. God works everything for our good when we seek him. And maybe you're not in the best atmosphere and environment. Maybe like you're trying to change your life around and you're trying to do better, eat better, serve God, serve others. And maybe your environment isn't the best. Maybe the people around you are, like I said, a stumbling block. Maybe it's hard for you in this season of your life. God will get you through that. God will, you know, not only does God remove things from our life, but God gives, you know, you know what I mean? Like yeah. God, he replaces, he redeems. And learn in the season that you're in but most importantly know that god is leading you and so i know this video is about health and our wellness but really it's all spiritual it goes back to our bodies being the temple of god mm -hmm. how are we going to serve christ with what he's given us how can we steward what he's given us i know we're not perfect we're so imperfect we've fell so many times with our eating habits um i mean i know for me speaking in in just my own yeah. self like i've struggled with that but without that reference of struggling you wouldn't understand the importance of taking care of your body yeah so it's all for a purpose yeah there's always a battle as well i believe there's always a constant battle for your mind yeah. constant battle for your thoughts for your heart posture for your health you know god is a super super natural healing miracle working god he is i've seen god heal right before my eyes like this supernaturally i've seen it too it's yes. incredible yeah and i also believe that god will use things as a process to bless people in that process so yes can i pray god take away this hypothyroidism but guys like but i need you to eat better that's all it is that's the, your healing is to eat a little bit better and i'm gonna do the rest i'm gonna do what i have to do so we can't play the role of god yep. we gotta serve christ Amen. we gotta thank god and for and to walk in his wisdom to walk in obedience to him and i i pray that you know this blesses yeah. so many people today about health there's there's healing for you today call on the name of jesus god will heal you god wants to heal you you're not stuck in 
you know, what you were diagnosed with. Is it cancer? Is it high cholesterol? Is it diabetes? Is it high blood pressure? Is it hypothyroidism? What, whatever it is, God is a miracle working God and he comes first mm -hmm. and God is our God of healing. He said that he paid for sickness on the cross. He paid for sin on the cross. It's our death Sheesh. has been paid. Sheesh. It has been paid. <laughs> And God wants to heal you today. You got to open your mouth. You got to believe with your heart. Thank you, Lord, for my healing. Thank you, Lord, for healing me from head to toe. Teach me your ways. Teach me your decrees. And don't let me stray away from your word. It's the Holy Spirit speaking, y'all. Well, I would say something, but, I, you know, that was, that was it. Yeah. A mic drop. And we're, we are... We are teaching and sharing and encouraging from a place of personal experience. Yeah. This is our testimony. Like, you know, Andrew goes through his thing. I go through my thing. But even in marriage, like, we're coming together to be a greater blessing to people, to share our story, to share yeah. where we're at, to share what God's been doing in our lives, and to believe that God, He He's a promise maker. You know what Amen. I mean? He's a promise keeper, should I say. Yeah. And everything God speaks goes. So believe with all your heart. The word of God in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, it says, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean onto your own mm -hmm. understanding, but in all your ways, submit to Christ and he will make your path straight. In all your ways, submit your situation, submit your circumstance, mm -hmm. submit your problem, your issue, yeah. submit yourself to Christ and he will make your path straight. So. As we're making these videos, like, I'm just thinking, they, they're probably like, what is this guy thinking about over here? But <laughs> I'm just thinking about, like, how great our God is. He Amen. gives us a second chance. He guides us to better pastures. It may be hard to give up that substance or thing right now. Yeah. But he's going to say, trust me a little bit more today, yeah. Andrew, or whoever's watching. Trust me a little bit more because what I have for you is something better than you can even imagine. Yeah. And that's freedom. That's a blessing that nobody can take away from you. Yeah. To be free is to be blessed amen for sure absolutely so and so if you guys have any questions when it comes to we're not by any means like experts no. or licensed nutritionists over here i mean he's a fitness trainer and that's another thing too andrew's gonna start putting out content um i mean where on your page and instagram yeah um he's gonna open up more about he's a fitness trainer a fitness advisor he's a life coach mm -hmm. so for any men that are you know struggling in their fitness or just you're wanting to get healthier you just want more energy yeah. he's your go-to guys he's Andrew has helped me tremendously in my health mm. and wellness journey like when we met I, I mean do you remember me putting sugar in my my Dunkin Donuts coffee he's like wow like five six yeah and that was packets and, and to me, I'm like, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. But really, it adds up over time. <laughs> Sugar is a killer, y'all. Yeah, it, it will is. It will mess up your body and maybe you're addicted Slowly. to it. I pray for you. If you mm -hmm. are addicted to sugar, I'm praying God's hand over your life, that you come out of all the addiction that the enemy is trying to entangle you in. I pray against anything, any strongholds over your health right yeah. now and that you receive the healing of Jesus in Jesus' name. I have, amen. So one last thing. I mean, you may have something else, but I was watching this Netflix show called Intervention. People on fentanyl, people on meth. God bless their soul. It's so sad. It's terrible. But the yeah. thing is, they didn't have the power of God in them, and they found the power to overcome. So if those people with worldly perspectives can overcome that, imagine what we can do with Christ. Yeah. He can take it away instantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can do things instantaneously, yeah. guys. Yeah. So you just have to believe and yeah. wait to receive. It truly matters who you surround yourself with, yeah. what you, you know, where you go, who you talk to. It matters mm -hmm. because you can be in the wrong friendship group and then they'll start saying, hey, you, you want to do this? And it's like, if you're contemplating certain things, if you're being convicted of certain things, you need to listen to the Holy Spirit. Like, I love um, David in Psalm where he's speaking about, you know, escaping from his enemies. He's constantly praises yeah. and talks to God like, Lord, help me get away, get my enemies away from me. You have to be so desperate running to Jesus yeah. so that you are running to Jesus mm -hmm. and not running to the wrong things. Amen. And God's grace is there. If you fall, this is no way to shame anybody. I've been there when I was lukewarm. I was one foot in, one foot out. There's, there's 
you know, you call on Jesus, he's come to save us, should I say. Yeah. And so I encourage that today. Like, there's no shame or guilt over your life. Don't let anybody make you feel shame and guilt because God doesn't make us feel that way. God wants a relationship. He wants to heal. He wants to deliver you. Mm -hmm. He wants to redeem you. Yeah, and, and really, like, like reach out to people that can pray for you. Reach out to a church. If you don't yeah. know anybody, you know, send us an email. We could pray for you. And yeah, and we, we'd love to give you guys advice. If, if you leave down below any questions that you may have, just comment below. Mm -hmm. Any advice, any tips on fitness, wellness, um, just from our experience, what we've learned, or if you're interested in carnivore diet, we'd love to share that with you guys. Yeah. Amen. Just as she said, reach out anytime. So if you guys enjoyed this video, mm -hmm. give it a thumbs up and subscribe because we're going to be creating more videos and our podcast soon. Amen. Like Andrew always says, stay blessed up. Stay blessed up. I love you guys.